Welcome back to our channel where we're all about making your Google Analytics data easier to see, use, and understand on your WordPress site so you can improve your web strategy. For this first step, we'll begin by installing an analytics plugin for WordPress. Now, Monster Insights is the best Google Analytics plugin for WordPress. It's easy to set up and use, gives you access to a wealth of data about your top organic keywords, and you can see all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. So, first things first, let's head over to the Monster Insights pricing page. Make sure you grab Monster Insights at the Plus license level or above. For this tutorial, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro, but feel free to choose the level that suits your needs. Now, once you're all signed up, just go to your account area and then head over to the Download tab and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Now let's log into your WordPress site. And on the admin sidebar, click on Plugins and then select Add New. Okay, great job. All right, next, look for the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page and give it a click. You can either click Choose File or you can simply drag and drop the zip file here. Okay, perfect. Now click on Install Now. And let's get Monster Insights activated. Okay, you're doing great. Fantastic. Okay, we're almost there with the setup, so now it's time to connect Google Analytics to your site. Now, don't worry, it's easy. Just follow the steps in the setup wizard, and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without having to edit any code. If you'd like more details, check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. Now to the second step. Let's connect Google Analytics with Google Search Console. This will give you even more powerful insights. Here's how. Just log into your Analytics account, and then click on the admin cog at the bottom left corner of the screen. Now under the property column, you'll need to scroll down until you see Search Console links. Now from there, you'll need to click on the blue link button. Now under the Choose Search Console property, you'll need to click the Choose Accounts link. Now just put a check mark in the box next to the site that you want to track. And then click Confirm. Now click Next. Now under the Select Web Stream, click Select, select the stream, and click Next. Now just review what you've done, make sure it's correct, and then click Submit. You'll see a link created notification right up here. All right, that's it. Excellent. Now on to the next step. Okay, now let me show you how to view your Search Console report right inside WordPress. It's super handy, just follow along. Open your WordPress dashboard and navigate to Insights and then go to Reports. Now you'll need to click Search Console from the top menu. Perfect, now you can explore the report and see all the juicy details that you'll see here in Search Terms, Clicks, Impressions, Click-Through Rate, and Average Position. How cool is that? All right, let's dive into finding conversions in Google Analytics. It's essential to measure your success. Here's how it's done. First, open up Google Analytics and then go to Reports. Now, from there, you'll need to go to Acquisition and then to Traffic Acquisition. Down the table, you'll need to locate the organic search result. It's a key metric for understanding your organic traffic. To do that, just scroll over to Find Conversions. Right here in this column. Now, wouldn't it be awesome to view the conversion rate in a table too? Let me show you how to do that. First, click on the pencil icon, the upper right corner of your traffic acquisition report, and then click on metrics, and then click add metric. And then you'll need to look for session conversion rate. Click apply, click save, go back, and there you have it. You're getting to be a real pro at this. Okay, great. Now you can easily monitor the conversion rates for your organic traffic. All right, now for those of you who want to take it a step further, here's how you can add Search Console reports to GA4. It's pretty nifty. First, go to your GA4 account, then click on Library. And then, next, find the Search Console card under Collections and click on Edit Collection. Then click Save. And now click Back. Now click the three dots on the Search Console card and select Publish. Fantastic, you should now have a new Search Console section in your navigation. 
Congratulations, you've successfully completed the tutorial and you can now track your organic keywords in Google Analytics and WordPress. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more great content. And don't forget, you can see all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And you can get 50% off Monster Insights right now by using the link in the description. While you're here, why not subscribe for more helpful content? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.